Spectacular Spring, All Kinds of Spring Facts and Fun, by Bruce Goldstone. Spring is a season of spectacular beginnings. Green plants and colorful flowers begin to grow. Animals shake off the cold of winter. People start spending more time outdoors. Days get longer and nights get shorter. Spring begins on the vernal equinox. In the Northern Hemisphere, that's a day near March 20th when day and night are both 12 hours long. Spring ends on the summer solstice. In the Northern Hemisphere, that's a day near June 21st. It's the longest day of the year. Days begin to get warmer so your clothes get lighter. At the start of spring, you might still wear a sweater, a scarf, and warm gloves. As the days begin to get warmer, you won't need so many heavy layers, but you might put on a raincoat and boots. Waterproof clothing helps keep you dry when it rains. Winter snow stops falling and spring rain starts. When the air gets warmer in spring, it's more likely to rain than snow. Air always holds tiny drops of water vapor, and warm air holds more than cold air. As warm air rises, it cools, and water droplets come together to form clouds. When the droplets get too heavy to stay in the cloud, they fall to the ground as rain. How do umbrellas work? The material of an umbrella is waterproof, which means rains, rain will bounce off instead of passing through. When you open the umbrella, thin ribs unfold and stretch out the material to form a dome. Many umbrellas have an automatic spring. When you press a button, the spring releases and the umbrella pops open. Sometimes wind in a rainstorm will push up inside the umbrella. The ribs flip up and the umbrella turns inside out. You can usually tug the umbrella back into the right shape. After the rain, you might see a rainbow. Sunshine, sunlight, is made up of many colors, but normally we can't see them all. After it rains, there are still a lot of water droplets in the air. When sunlight hits these droplets from a certain angle, the beam of light separates into the colors that are usually mixed together in sunlight. A beautiful rainbow is the result. The colors in a rainbow are always in the same order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. How does spring feel? Fuzzy? Wet? Soft, velvety, fluffy, muddy, squishy, windy, leafy, smooth. Plants start to grow all over the place. Spring rain brings water that plants need to start growing. Look around and you'll see leaves and flowers starting to grow on trees and bushes and on the ground. There's some you might see, grass, azaleas, rhododendrons, magnolia trees, apple trees, dogwood trees, cherry trees, and forsythia, which I think grows as a bush. Not a tree. Flower bulbs begin to bloom. Ooh, the bulb, this part is underground. Many of the first flowers to bloom in spring grow from bulbs that have been in the ground all winter. Unlike seeds, bulbs do not have a hard outer layer. Instead, bulbs have many layers called scales that help the bulb survive in the cold. The same bulb can grow a new plant every spring. Like tulips, grape hyacinths, regular hyacinths, daffodils, snowdrops, Iris, crocus, allium. What does spring smell like? 
Spring is a great time to close your eyes and sniff. Smells travel more easily in warm air than in cold air. As spring days get warmer, you'll find many fresh new smells when you walk outdoors. Sprouts spring up from seeds underground. Spring rain also helps seeds begin to grow in a process called germination. Temperature, sunlight, and water need to be right for the seed to germinate. First, the seed takes in water and swells. Then the outer layers, or seed coat, splits open. The plant's root grows downward and the baby stem grows upward. A sprout is the first part of the plant to appear above ground. A seed can grow into a new plant only once. Seeds travel in many ways. Plants don't have legs, but they can still travel. Some seeds travel in the air. For example, dandelion seeds have a feathery part that helps the wind carry them to fresh new ground. The seeds of a maple tree have wings that make them move like helicopters through the air. Other seeds are sticky or prickly. They catch a ride by traveling in animal fur or feathers or on people's clothing. When they finally fall to the ground, they might grow where they land. Seeds can travel by water too. When plants that hang over water let go of their seeds, the current carries them along to new soil. Animals can also move seeds. Birds, like robins, eat seeds, but they do not use the entire seed for energy. The seeds pass through the bird's digestive system and then get dropped out, along with some natural fertilizer that feeds the seeds. Farmers plant new crops. In spring, farmers plant seeds that will grow into crops like vegetables and grains. First, they prepare the soil. Then they plant, or sow, the seeds. Water and fertilizer help crops grow into strong plants. Some seeds need to be sown by hand, but others are sown using farm machines called seeders. These machines can dig soil and spread seeds evenly. What shape is spring? Look for shapes in the spring. Some flower petals are shaped like raindrops. What is a raindrop? Some petals. What do you see that's round? What other shapes do you see? You see some round things. Umbrellas often have eight sides when you look at them from the top. That shape is called an octagon. Baby animals are often born in spring, when they will have plenty of food. Longer days allow parents more time to gather food for their young. Birds make nests and lay eggs. After the eggs hatch, baby birds usually stay close to one or both of their parents. What other kinds of animals do you see on here? How do baby birds hatch? Inside an egg, the yolk and the white provides food for the baby that the baby needs to grow. When it's time to hatch, the baby bird uses its beak to knock a hole through the shell. After hatching, birds usually stay in the nest near a parent as they grow. When their feathers and wings are ready to fly, baby birds become fledglings. Parents still help to care for their fledglings until they can find food and protect themselves on their own. What does spring sound like? Cheep, tweet, chirp, ba, crack, boom, trip, drop, pitter, patter, peep, whoosh, rustle, splish, splash, sploosh. Some animals get moving. Warm spring weather tells some animals it's time to wake up and move. Animals like chipmunks, bats, bears, 
Frogs and toads that hibernate or sleep a lot during the winter can find more food in spring. They wake up and become more active. Birds that flew south in autumn fly north in spring. They will feed on new plants and insects and find places to nest. Little critters get busy too. Bees and other insects start flying from flower to flower. While they gather food, they also help pollinate plants. They carry pollen from one flowering plant to another, allowing the plants to make seeds. Birds, bats, and the wind carry pollen too. When worms start looking for food, they also help plants. As they move, they loosen the earth, which makes it easier for plant roots to grow. Worms eat old plants and very small living things and then leave behind natural fertilizer that plants can use for energy. Tadpoles hatch from eggs in ponds and lakes. As they get bigger, they begin to grow lungs and legs and lose their gills and tails. Then the little froglets can hop around on land and eventually become adult frogs. People have many ways to celebrate spring. Easter, April Fool's Day, Mother's Day, Passover, Earth Day, Memorial Day. Fresh spring air gets people to open windows and clean up. Warm spring weather means we can open windows and let in some air. Many people use this time to do some spring cleaning. They tidy up indoors and out. Fresh paint can brighten a fence, porch, or door. Volunteers pitch in to help clean public places. Of course, sometimes we just open windows to enjoy a cool breeze. When all the year's beginnings have begun, spectacular spring turns into super summer. Some spectacular spring activities for you. Fantasy flowers. Oh, it looks like they're making it with tissue and pipe cleaners. Hand lambs. Oh, that's very cute. Looks like an outline of a hand cut out with cotton balls. Dirt for dessert. Well, I'm guessing those are gummy worms and that's probably not real dirt. Maybe that's hot cocoa powder. Mmm. -hmm. Seed jars. Oh, I love doing this. You can see the roots all growing down. It's really cool. And you can plant seeds from just things that are in your kitchen, like beans and corn. Mud painting. <laughs> Making rain sticks. Oh, and look, turn the page for instructions. But I will let you read that on your own. Thanks to Anna and Sophia Trotel, Chloe and Charlie London, and Jack Moeller for their help with the Jaunty Hand Lambs. Ooh, okay, so there's more books in this series. I'll have to try and find them. Awesome Autumn, Wonderful Winter, and they mentioned inside Super Summer. But that was Spectacular Spring, All Kinds of Spring Facts and Fun by Bruce Goldstone. And this is EDU Kidspace. Subscribe for more stories, books, and lessons. Hit the bell button so you're notified when I put out new videos. And if you want to support the channel, you can click on the Patreon link in the video description. Um, hopefully I will have a link to this book in the video description as well so you can buy it for yourself. All right. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your spring.